Hey, hey, it's movie review time! Ah! Hello everybody and welcome back to another movie review. In honor of our paranormal investigation of Graham Parsons, we are doing a movie review on Grand Theft Parsons, which was done in 2003, and when we started uh, our our uh, investigation at uh, uh, the Joshua Tree Inn, we weren't even aware of this movie at the time. So, of course, we had to find it and watch it. So that's what we did, and it was um, uh, directed by David Caffrey. Uh, the right credits go to um, Jeremy Drysdale, David. Uh, Caffrey and I, I'm assuming uh, Phil Kaufman had something to do with the writing since uh, it basically the story about Phil Kaufman after stealing Graham Parsons body. It was based on actual events. So it's hard to believe but yes Phil Kaufman his road manager stole his body from LAX after he had died drove it back to Joshua Tree and set fire to it in front of um, Cap Rock in Joshua Tree National Park. So, and he only was signed, fined $750 for uh, stealing a coffin. So it wasn't even grand theft. Yes, because it was not illegal at the time. At the time to steal a body. It's, it's considered to be not worth anything, of no intrinsic value. So all very funny, but um, the movie. Uh, as funny as that is, I don't know if they could get a whole movie out of that. Maybe a, a pretty good documentary. But they turned it into sort of a road uh, show. Road, road trip comedy. Road trip comedy. And um, it stars um, um, Johnny Knoxville as uh, Phil Kaufman. A very short um, um, Gabriel Appearance. Mocked playing Graham Parsons since he just mostly played a, a corpse in this. Uh, Christina Applegate was in this also, but as far as we can tell, she's playing a character that that doesn't really exist. Uh, she's referred to as Barbara Mansfield, and um, I I don't know. There's no such person. So from everything that we read during the investigation, we we did not come across anybody by that name. Now there's a Margaret Fisher, who uh, was his girlfriend at the time, but. Um, the, the character is, is absolutely has nothing to do with uh, the Margaret Fisher. So, very fictionalized, very funny, beautiful shots of Joshua Tree. Uh, the uh, hotel they used was looked nothing like Joshua Tree uh, in. Although in the very first scene, um, it so, did look like a picture that we were able to see of the original room. Uh, the interior. The interior. Which, the rooms are cinder block and uh, with high windows and that's exactly what the, the room looked like. Only in the very first scene. Yeah. When Phil, when uh, Parsons dies. But all in all, um, I think uh, a good performance by Johnny Knoxville. Phil Kaufman does actually show up in it at the very end. Makes a cameo. He does a cameo. I'm sure there's other cameos as well, but we don't know who any of the other characters are. Uh, apparently, uh, Phil or uh, um, Johnny Knoxville actually wears the jacket that Phil Collins was actually not Phil, Phil Collins. Phil Kaufman was actually wearing when he set fire to uh, Graham Parsons' body. And uh, so I, I, I liked it. I did too. I think it's something that um, is a good good movie. I think everybody should uh, check it out, especially um, if you've been following along with us and reading up on Graham Parsons. Um, it's definitely worth worth a watch. Very strange story. Yeah. But mostly true. Yeah. So very so interesting. So I give it a four out of five. I'd, I'd say four, uh, I agree. Four out of five. Uh, excellent acting, a little slow. Though. At the beginning. Um, but uh, I really liked it. Um, a lot of it has to do with the fact that, that we just did... Um, the investigation. Yeah. So we were there, we were at Cap Rock, we were at all the places that were, that were portrayed in the movie. Uh, and uh, enjoyed it a lot. Yes, yes. 
very much so. So if you go ahead and watch this movie, please let us know what you think about the movie. And we will catch you in our next episode of Movie Review. Bye for now. Bye.